Well, hi there guys and girls. I am back again with another quick YouTube video. Uh, I've been pretty busy recently uh, doing bits and bobs, sort of doing training and uh, photo shoots and all that sort of stuff. So um, I thought I'd just do a quick review video on a piece of software that I've been using for a couple of weeks now and it literally just blow my mind. Um, it's by a company called Topaz Labs and you may have heard of them quite a lot recently. Um, a lot of us 360 photographers, especially one-shot camera users, are starting to use their software. Um, there's a couple of different softwares that they offer, but the two main ones that are useful for 360 photographers is Topaz Sharpen and Topaz Gigapixel, and also potentially Topaz Denoise, uh, which is quite a powerful denoising software. However, you know, I think from, I've tried Lightroom and that does a pretty, pretty good job. Uh, Topaz is quite a lot more powerful, but uh, the one that I have discovered is just amazing is Topaz Sharpen. Uh, you can also use Gigapixel if you want to, because what that does is it basically doubles the resolution of your images. So if you're shooting on a Ricoh Theta, for example, I think it's around 7,000 pixels wide, that's going to make your image 14,000 pixels wide. So uh, yeah, pretty cool. So let's, uh, let's jump into Topaz Sharpen and have a quick look through what the software can do. Okay, so here we are in Topaz Sharpen AI and you will, uh, you will tell from the title with the AI in there that uh, a lot of the stuff in this software is done by uh, sort of artificial intelligence and so on and so forth. Uh, some people like that, some people don't. The good thing with this is you can override it. So if you, you know if you wanted to make some adjustments on the side here, which I'll show you in a minute, then you can do that yourself. Uh, the other great thing is that this has actually got a bulk uh, editing tool or bulk import tool and export. So if you have got multiple images within a tool that you want to uh, you know add this into, then uh, then you can just bring them all into here. Uh, you can set all the settings, the same ones for for each individual. Uh, sorry, so all the same settings for all the images or you can edit each individual one. So I'm just gonna click on browse here and I'm just gonna bring in a shot that I've taken. Da, 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 da. Here we go, this is a stitched shot. Now this was actually taken using the Xiaomi Mi Sphere. Okay, uh, it has had uh, HDR processing already done using SNS HDR. And um, basically I've done this for a training course that I'm creating for virtual tour photography. Uh, just teach people how to take photos with one shots and DSLR mirrorless cameras and also process them to get the most out of their images. So um, straight away, what you can see is on the left-hand side, we've got the before and the right-hand side, we've got the after. And on the top right-hand corner here, you can basically click and drag around the image to get a nice comparison. So I found this painting to be a really, really good example so I'm going to get it nice and central that'll do just there and each time you've got this auto update preview uh, slider what that means is it's basically going to auto update each time you move everything around so um, what I'm going to do first of all is just go through these settings before I show the sort of the full result uh, this is set onto AI mode so uh, this has recognized it as needing stabilization. So it means that it's, it's not so much out of focus, which it's not um, because we're zoomed in at 100% at the moment. So that's why it looks a little bit, a little bit sort of blurry, but it's not blurry. It's just because it's a lower resolution image. Um, and also it can also very, very cleverly, I don't know how it does it, but automatically detect if something is actually out of focus. So this is really useful, you know, not just for virtual tour photography, but for any type of photography. So if you slightly miss focus on an image, throw it into here. If you have used a slightly longer shutter speed or you've got a bit of blur in, or movement in your image, not too much, of course, but um, if it's just a very slight amount of camera shake or something like that, then that will use the stabilize tool like we're using here. And then if you want to sort of boost the sharpening on an image, then it will automatically detect that and it will sharpen it for you. So um, I've played around with this a bit and I've, I've generally find the AI mode gets it bang on each time. Uh, the settings, these are set to auto as well. Uh, I recommend just, just leaving it as is. And uh, of course you can switch it off if you want to, um, but and then just adjust them to your own liking. So, um, so yeah, let's have a look at the result. Uh, so if I pull this across here, you'll see straight away on the, on the cushion here, 
Massive, massive difference between the two. But the painting, check this out. Incredible. So if I just draw that back, back over, and I'll reveal the whole thing. Okay, so there we go. That's the sharpened image. And do bear in mind, this is at 100%. Okay, so if I zoom this out to 50%, Just go generate that preview. It can take a little bit of time, but it's obviously having to do a lot of work in order to uh, in order to process this Im this image. So, I mean, I. For a long time, you know, some of you that have been watching my channel for a while, I'm very, very pro uh, sort of DSLR uh, mirrorless cameras. However, this has kind of given me a bit of a, you know, passion again for, for, for one-shot cameras, um, even my little Xiaomi Misfit. So if we pull this across here, look at that. Absolutely incredible. Um, let's put it back over and then maybe move to a different part of the image. Get both of these in here. And get that seaming in as well. And there we go. Let it pr process that. I'm going to do this in real time, by the way, just so you can see, you know, realistically how long this is going to take to to, to process each image. Uh, I mean, it's not the it's not the quickest software in the world, but I think the benefits it gives you are absolutely huge so I mean even I mean to be honest I haven't actually tried using this with a with a mirrorless you know, image there's not really any reason to but I might have to just give it a go and just see what it does so here we go so if we pull this over here da -da 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 -da. done okay so what can we compare in here if you look at the fireplace up here and here the difference between the two and the detail in the coving up here, and then the ceiling rose up here is pretty amazing. So there we go. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, there is a masking tool, and one thing I will say is that uh, for any faces that are in the background, it can do some really, really quite strange things to faces. Uh, not so much portraits that are full images. Uh, it's great for that because, you know, it's obviously just going to give you a lot more sharpening if you want that. You probably wouldn't want that on a portrait. Um, but, yeah, uh, it, it has got a masking feature. So if you want, you can actually just click on the mask and then you can just take the, the sharpening effect out of cer certain areas of the image or the other way around. You know, if you wanted just to have this sharpened, just the just the painting, then that's 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 absolutely fine as well. Okay, and then down here you've got the, basically when you import uh, multiple files, you can click on file and you can click on open images and that's going to add more images into this list or you can just highlight all the images and drag them in and then it will open them all up down here. And then you've basically got tick boxes. So you've got check all, which will check all of them and then all the ch changes that you make here will be applied to all the images. Uh, or you can uncheck them all and then tick them individually and set stabilize for one and sharpen for the other focus for a different one and so on and so forth um so yeah i hope that's been useful uh, i would highly highly recommend getting this software i think it's about 79 dollars i have put a link in the uh, description below to get the software uh, so if you could use that link i would really appreciate it as always you know obviously we're all here to help each other out so uh so yeah i hope that's been useful any comments or questions, then please pop them down below and I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye.